here's why cutting corners in your health actually leads to long-term failure. So what a lot of entrepreneurs do is they want to go ahead and cut corners in their health because they need to work more, right? They need to get ahead in their business. So they need to work more to make more money and, you know, get more clients and get more customers and have more staff members and all this kind of stuff. But they do that all to the detriment of their health. And any really, truly successful entrepreneur knows that health is wealth, right? So if you don't have the energy to actually work and give your all to your, to your work and be present and then be able to switch off and be present with your family, are you really successful? What are you all doing this for, right? So you have to understand that health is wealth. And once you realize that the health that you have will serve you for years and years to come, you will then realize the importance of being healthy and focusing on improving your energy levels, being more productive, having more mental clarity and feeling better about yourself every day. Because when you feel better, you do better. All right. And that's what I really want to talk about today is feeling good. Okay. Kevin Hart said it. He said, I work out every, he works out every day, right? I don't advise you work out every single day. I at least move your body every day, but you don't need to like lift weights every single day unless you want to, right? A lot of entrepreneurs that I speak with, they want to work out as little as possible. Cause let's face it. A lot of people don't actually like working out. Like if you ask me, Aaron, do you love working out? I love the feeling afterwards, but I don't actually really love working out and that's okay. You don't have to really love working out, but understand that it's an important part of your, your schedule to get it done, right? And also eating well and sleeping well, prioritizing your sleep and prioritizing having good social circle that doesn't stress you the hell out, right? And having people in place in your business that handle the stuff that you don't want to handle that stresses you out. Stuff like this is really important. And this is all under the umbrella of health, right? Health is not just about nutrition and workouts. It's about your sleep. It's about the people that you hang out with on a regular basis because this actually affects your mental health as well. All right. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about health is wealth. It's not just about the food. All right? Everyone just thinks it's the food. It's not. It's the people you're hanging out with. Are you hanging out with people that are fanning your flame or pouring water on your fire? Right? And this is going to massively affect how you feel every day, along with working out. Like If you're not working out, you're going to be operating at a lower level of energy. Just facts. Right? Like That's just, that's just how it is. When you work out, you have more energy. I like guess it's, it's very easy for entrepreneurs to uh, justify. Oh yeah, I just need to do this extra hour work on this thing. Rather than actually get their ass to the gym because they compute in their mind that the gym is hard, right? And if you think the gym is hard, then it's always going to be hard. Right? Like it's, it's not going to get any easier, right? Like 50 pounds or 50 pounds, like 50 pound dumbbell is 50 pound dumbbell. It doesn't get any heavier. It doesn't get any lighter. It's always 50 pounds, but you get stronger, right? And it's the same thing with the, with the mindset as well. Like the mindset can get stronger. And this is what I like to help my clients with because when you have a stronger mindset, like when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Dr. Wayne Dyer said that. And I love that quote because I, I love helping my clients to see things from a different angle because that's how I used to see it. I used to see working out as hard and I don't want to live in the gym. I don't want to have to work out five days a week. You don't have to, by the way. And and I don't work out five days a week like in the gym. But I used to believe that this is so hard. Like I don't want to be one of those guys, one of those fitness guys. You know, I'm, I'm the guy that's on my computer 12 hours a day and that's my happy place, all this stuff. But that was just excuses, right? It, it was a justification to make myself feel good about not doing the work, right? It's like, we always do that. Like we justify why what they're doing, which is the d- desired behavior, right? Why that is... Yeah, I don't want to do that anyway. I just rather just stay, stay here. Oh, so you, you don't you don't actually want that? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But you actually do want that, which is the crazy thing. And I used to do the same thing. I used to look at like myself now, five years ago, and I'd be like, like five years ago, I didn't I didn't look like this, right? I wasn't lean like this. And I looked at myself. I, if I looked at myself five years ago, um, the, the guy I'm now, I'd be like, yeah, right, whatever. That's not that's not possible for me. And I believed that. So it's about shifting your belief to where you're like, all right, I can actually do this. And the only way you do that is, you know, you have to get around people that understand this stuff and know that you can 
be achieving way more than you are. You can be feeling way better than you are right now. And you can be becoming the best version of yourself on a daily basis and moving towards that goal with confidence, knowing that you will achieve it. And if you don't have that confidence, if you're just kind of like every day is kind of the same and you've got no structure and you're just like, yeah, you know, I might go to the gym, might not. I don't want to do that. In five years time, where are you going to be? If you, if that's, that's your reality right now, you got to think about this, right? Because I think about this in my own life. Like, where am I going to be in five years from now? What, what habits am I implementing today? Who am I around? Who am I listening to? Who's, who's coaching me? Like, who's in my corner? And this is a video I made. You can check it out. It's called Who's in My Corner. And I, I like to think of it like this. Like, the analogy I like to use is if you're in Bali, they have these uh, live uh, Muay Thai MMA fights, right? Boxing fights. And uh, my jiu-jitsu coach and my other coach, um, they, well, he's not my coach, but he's my friend. He's a MMA coach, boxing coach. Um, and they're both in the corner for one of these fighters, right? And I was thinking about it. I was like, huh, who's in my corner, right? Like, who's in my corner? And that's why I love coaching because coaches are in your corner, right? They're rooting for you. They're on your side. They want to see you win. And they can see things you can't see. Imagine if Mike Tyson never had a coach, right? Imagine if he never had a coach. Would he be Mike Tyson? Probably not. Like he was a good fighter, but you need a coach to see your blind spots and coach you to your greatness because they have experience that you don't have, which is why they're coaching you, right? Like his coach Gus, like he was like a father figure for him. So I digress, but I'm just saying like coaching is super valuable, you know, having someone to see what you can't see. Like right now, like I think about my problems in a certain way, right? But my mindset coach sees things I don't even see. Like he tells me things about myself and I'm like, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, fuck, you're right. But I didn't notice that. I didn't notice these things about myself. And so the same thing with, with health. It's like you think, for example, I made a video about cravings. I spoke to a guy and he said, yeah, the reason I have cravings is because I lack discipline. I don't have discipline. Well, that's in his current reality. That's what he thinks with his knowledge level, which clearly is not getting him the results because that's not the problem. Like the problem is that he doesn't know the solution, but he thinks he knows the solution, right? He thinks the reason why he has cravings is because he he's not disciplined. That's not true because I used to have cravings. Now I don't. And the, pro the, the issue was not that I didn't have discipline, right? The issue was I just didn't know what to eat. I didn't know how much to eat. Therefore, I would always have cravings. In other words, I would always feel like my body would never be full. It was always craving something, right? It was always craving sugar because my body was basically, the hormones all messed up and my brain was signaling, hey, I'm not full, I need more food. And I would go ahead and eat the crap, right? So when you don't understand this stuff, the quickest solution you can think of in your mind is, oh, I'm not disciplined. I mean, everyone says that to me. You, you, you know how many entrepreneurs say that? I'm not disciplined. It's just they don't, they don't know what they don't know. And you think you know, right? It's like, you don't know what you don't know and you think you know. And this is why, I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about coaching because I know how much has changed my life. I'm a product of coaching. So there's a lot of people in the world who, who don't value coaching, but I'm not one of those people because I've, I've, my life has completely transformed because I've had people that have seen things that I can't see about myself and I've implemented what they told me and it's changed my life, right? And so if you're one of those people that, you know, you're thinking to yourself, you know what, fuck, I got no one in my corner. Like you're in a, you're in a boxing ring and you look back at your corner and there's no one there. And you wonder why you're losing. You wonder why you're not getting the results that you want. This is the reason, right? You need someone in your corner. You need someone to be like, hey, put your hands up. Hey, do this. You know, like you need someone there. And I love that analogy as I keep using it. But it's true. I'm digressing a lot now, but you know, health is wealth. And you know, people can say that all day long and still continue with the same habits, getting to nowhere. Or you can, actually get help that you need and a lot of times it's multifaceted it's not just nutrition there's other aspects of the health equation that we go into things like sleep your limiting beliefs your mindset how are you thinking about this what do you believe about this do you believe that you know you can never get in shape that you want to be in do you believe that it's hard do you believe that you know there's not enough food that you actually enjoy or do you believe that you're just lazy and you'll never be able to figure it out? What are the beliefs that you have around 
getting in the best shape of your life and furthermore having great health like having great blood work and you know not worrying about getting all these diseases like do you believe that this is possible for you can do you believe that because i believe that for you but my job is to ha- get you to believe it and uh, if, if you have those beliefs in place that's great now it's just like the knowledge is lacking and you need to know what to eat when to eat how much to eat okay and then styling in sleep how how good you sleep how good is your stress management? Like, what are you doing to manage your stress and decrease your stress and be more present? All of these things go into the equation and we can talk about all of this on the phone call. If you go ahead and click the link in the description, you can go ahead and book your free call and then we'll get on the phone and talk about your situation. Well, mostly you'll be talking and we'll be asking you questions and just to really diagnose what your issues are and then make a game plan to help you solve it. All right. So that's what we have to offer you. And uh, my name is Aaron Darko. As always, like and subscribe and uh, follow along because I'm going to be releasing more content like this. And if you like this kind of stuff, want me to make more videos, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be releasing videos all the time. All right. So talk to you soon. Link in the description if you want more information. If you want to book a call with us, you want to watch the webinar, go ahead and click the link in the description and I'll talk to you very shortly. All right. Bye for now.